Hello guys and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we met Pearl Fay. She powered up Maya's Magatama and allowed us to see Psyche Locks. And if all those words sound like gibberish to you, then you probably haven't seen the last episode. Go check it out if you haven't already. And in this episode, we are going to face off against the successor to Manfred von Karma. And we're going to get to see how they operate, and we're also trying to make sure that Maya is declared innocent, because Mia pointed out some interesting parts of uh, Maya's story, so I hope you're interested to see how this turns out. June 21st, 9.48am, District Court Defendant Lobby Number 1. What? Prosecutor Von Karma? You mean... No, I heard it's his successor this time. Successor? Manfred von Karma. He was a really sinister man. He pulled all sorts of nasty tricks. Also, he could win. He was a man obsessed with the word perfection. He had a perfect record for 40 long years. Who knows what sorts of dirty tricks he used to get each of those gu guilty verdicts. And now, his successor. I wonder what kind of person they will turn out to be. It's no good. Mystic Maya! Pearly! You showed up! Thanks for coming all this way! I was really worried about you! Hey, where's your mother? Didn't you two come together? Mother is watching over the trainees! She said they all have training for two days straight with no breaks! Huh? Then... Then you came all by yourself? Yep, I snuck out of the manor and followed a map. Don't tell me you walked all the way here. Of course not! I ran! That's... I can't... Oh my... If it takes two hours by train... Oh man... Pearly, what about the train? Huh? What's a train? I give up. It's time, isn't it? Um, I'm really scared. What if Von Karma tries to do something to me? At least I know Mr. Edgeworth would be nicer to me than Von Karma. Mr. Edgeworth? Who is that? Um, he's Nick's rival. Well, he's also a friend. I still remember him as if I'd only seen him yesterday. Every trial was a scorching, fierce battle until the very end. It was always back and forth with them, but when you're rivals for life... Maya! Please don't mention that name ever again. Huh? But why, Nick? I'm... Uh, I'm sorry, Maya. I forgot you don't know. He... He... He's... He's gone. And he's not coming back. What? Wait, wait a second. What's that supposed to mean? Court will commence shortly. Please proceed to the courtroom. Let's go. Now's not the time to talk about that anyway. N Nick? June 21st, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number two. Court is now in session for the trial of Maya Fay. Are the prosecution and the defense prepared? This is our new prosecutor for the game. What is with this girl? Ahem, Mr. Wright, are you finally prepared? Huh? Uh, uh, yes, Your Honor. Why does he always seem mad at me? Mr. Phoenix Wright. You must be a little shocked because I am a woman, correct? Hold on. So this kid is the famed Prosecutor Von Karma? I am Francisca Von Karma, the prodigy. I... see. I gave up a promising career in Germany and came to this country for one sole reason. Revenge. Revenge? Is this about her father, Manfred Von Karma? 
Um, if it's something of a personal nature, I'm sure you can- Ow! I'm talking. If you interrupt again, my whip will do the speaking for me. Please speak with your mouth like a normal person. I beg of you. Yow! Make no mistake, I will defeat you. Prepare to go down, Mr. Phoenix Wright. So that's her whole shtick, is she whips people, which is for some reason allowed. Prosecutor Von Kama, your opening statement, please. Souls of Von Kama blood have only one fate, and that is perfection. The defendant, Maya Fey, will find no escape from her guilt on my watch. Very well. What is the defense's position? Your Honor. Does the defense wish to enter a plea of not guilty? Yes. Foolish fool who foolishly dreams of foolish dreams. That's another quirk of hers, as she says fool a lot. Ten minutes. I give the defense ten minutes before it changes its plea. That's right. I'll have you running for the justified self-defense plea in no time. So she's doing the I'll give you X minutes before you give in thing, just like her father. Justified self-defense. A plea usually reserved for when a person unintentionally kills in defense of himself. We could very easily make a solid case that it was self-defense, but... The defense stands by the plea of not guilty, Your Honor. Because to plead justified self-defense is to say you did kill someone. How foolish. If that's how you want to play it, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then I shall now call the first witness. She's just as scary as her father. Like father, like daughter, I suppose. Also, in the Japanese version, I believe uh, uh, Francisca von Karma was American. And uh, so obviously, because the localized versions of Ace Attorney take place in America, they had to change that, so they went with Germany. And I think that's usually what they go for whenever they have to change something from being an American version of something. Fitness, your name and occupation. Yes, sir. My name is Dick Gumshoe. I'm a detective at the local precinct. Yeah! Get to the point already. Explain to the court the details of this murder. Y yes sir Um, if everyone would please look at the map. The channeling chamber has no windows and the door was locked shut. At, at the time of the murder, only the victim and the defendant were in the room. What were they doing in there? Um, they... Well, they were channeling a spirit, so... Ch channeling a spirit? The look of disbelief on the judge's face is... Ahem. <clears throat> anyway... A few minutes after the channeling started, gunshots were heard coming from inside the room, so... A few of the witnesses broke the door down and rushed into the room. Ah, and that's when they found that the victim was already dead, correct? Hmm, I believe this is one of the most open and shut cases I have ever presided over. Floor plans added to the court record. So, how was the victim killed? I was about to get to that. Stop wasting my time, then. The direct cause of death was a pistol shot to the forehead, sir. <clears throat> the shot was fired from a point-blank range. But before the victim was shot, sir, he was stabbed in the chest. The wound was very severe, but not enough to cause instantaneous death. The moida you... The murderer used the pistol to finish off the victim after the stabbing. Hmm. So the victim was stabbed before being shot. This is the victim's autopsy report, sir. Autopsy report added to the court record. The court accepts it into evidence. Mr. Wright, you may question the witness. So this cross-examination is pretty easy, all you have to do is press every statement, which we were already doing, so it's fine. Alright. The murder weapon, Detective Gumshoe. 
Whose pistol was it? It was the victim's. <clears throat> the victim? Now why would he have... Why would he have a pistol? Who cares? The point that you are missing is whose fingerprints are on that pistol. If you're not already paying attention to that, then I suggest you start. Fingerprints? There were fingerprints? Along with the victims. The defendant Maya Faze were also on the grip, so... Hmm. So the defendant's fingerprints were left on the murder weapon. Hmm. I walked right into her hands there. Shot was fired point blank range. Point blank, huh? So about how far away was it? It was anywhere between 12 to 20 inches away. And how do you know he was shot at point blank? Tisk tisk tisk, Miss Mr. Phoenix, right? I grow tired of the foolish foolery of the foolish fools of this foolish country. I'm totally going to get tripped up on one of her, uh, things where she says fool over and over again. I excuse me? Gunpowder burn. Gunpowder burn? When something is shot from point blank, a burn area is left around the bullet hole. Gunpowder exploding is what makes a bullet fire, and that gets real hot, pal. And there were definitely some gunpowder burns left on the victim's forehead. <clears throat> wow, never knew that. Live and learn, I guess. Before the victim was shot, he was stabbed in the chest. Stabbed? And what was he stabbed with? A fruit knife! I see. And whose knife was it? It looks like it belongs to the face, sir. And of course, my, my face fingerprints are all over it. Hmm. All over it, huh? Ugh. This does not look good. Ha ha ha. What will you do now, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Very severe, but not enough to cause instantaneous death. How severe was the wound? If, if it had been half an inch to, more to the right, it would have it would have hit the victim's heart. After a stab like that, it's impossible to fight back, let alone stand. This testimony makes Maya look like she had stabbed him with the in intent to kill. The murderer used the pistol to vic finish off the victim after the stabbing. Are you sure he was stabbed first, then shot? Yep, sure as sure could be. One look at the wounds and you'd come to the same conclusion too, pal. A fool is a fool who will only listen to the foolish opinions of other other foolish fools. A pistol shot to the forehead at point blank is certainly enough to kill instantly. Does it matter then which was first? Think a little more before you open that big mouth of yours, Mr. Phoenix, right? Ugh, what a pain. That's enough. We have clearly established how the victim was murdered. I brought the two murder weapons with me today. Very well. The court accepts them into evidence. The date and time of death was June 19th at 3.15pm. Eyewitnesses claim to have heard two gunshots at this time. And the two murder weapons, both with the defendant's fingerprints on them? Hmm. This does seem like an open and shut case. Naturally. This is going from bad to worse. As if the summary just now wasn't oversimplifying things to the extreme. Your Honor, feel free to slam that little gavel of yours. After all, there's no room left for doubt, is there? That is quite true, Mr. Wright. Y yes? Even in the face of all of this, do you still wish to plead not guilty? It's the opinion of this court that if you do not adjust your plea, you stand to lose. See? Just as I promised, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You would change your plea in less than ten minutes. What will you do, Mr. Wright? Will you change to justified self-defense? Because now would be the time to do so. This is your final chance. This is a huge decision. I'd better think th through this all the way. Well... I think we should do just as Mia said. 
go for the complete acquittal of our client. Let's plead not guilty. <clears throat> if we plead justified self-defense, we would basically be confessing to a murder. Eh. After the trial, Maya's life would be destroyed and she'd be labeled as a murderer. I can't let that happen. Your Honor, have you reached a conclusion, Mr. Wright? The defense will not change its plea. We will accept nothing short of a complete acquittal. You. You have sealed your fate, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Detective! Y yes sir! Presents the final portion of your testimony. The final strike. Um, y yes sir! N now see here. Proceedings are run by... E. Oh, yes, of course. Go right ahead, detective, and give your testimony. I think the court would like to hear about the other piece of incriminating evidence. So, yeah, Francisca's just like her father. She is an absolute maniac in court who has the judge pretty much under her thumb, and it's not looking good for us. Sorry, pal, but there's an even more incriminating piece of evidence. This is the costume the defendant was wearing at the time of the crime. As you can see, it's covered in blood. The defendant attacked and killed a person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. So, this is the costume. There certainly is evidence of a back spray of blood on this. This piece directly links my fate to the crime, sir. I see. The court accepts this into evidence. All right, Mr. Wright. Maya's fingerprints on both murder weapons and blood splatters on her clothes. Could this situation get any worse? Huh. What's wrong? You seem to be at a loss. I think this is the last piece of testimony the prosecution should have to offer. Feel free to sulk off with your tail between your legs, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Please stop calling me by my full name. It's disturbing. Anyways, I think that's where we're going to go ahead and end off this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and cross-examine Gumshoe and see what more information we can pull out of him. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!